Welcome to the Sage 50 U.S. Edition Anytime Learning Topic. Over the next few minutes, you will learn about the new enhancements and updates included with Sage 50 Accounting Release 2021.1. Release 2021.1 provides improvements to payroll functionality in Sage 50, including expanded pay type fields and easier COVID-19 wage reporting on Federal Forum 941. Let's take a look. Previous versions of Sage 50 limited you to 20 pay types for hourly employees and 20 pay types for salaried employees. Beginning with the release 2021.1, you can now set up a virtually unlimited number of hourly and salary pay type fields. This new enhancement may be especially beneficial if you need to track different types of compensation related to the COVID-19 Families First Coronavirus Response Act, or FFCRA. Initial pay types are set up when you first run the payroll setup wizard in Sage 50. New add hourly pay type and add salary pay type buttons have been added to the wizard. Subsequent pay types can be added in the employees and payroll area of the program by clicking Payroll Setup and then Payroll Settings. Here, click the Company Information option on the left and select Pay Types to view the hourly and salary pay types currently set up in the program. If you are using payroll before upgrading to release 2021.1, 20 pay type fields will initially be available for hourly pay types and 20 for salary. When you need to add a new pay type, click the appropriate Add button Enter a pay type name in the new field and select a payroll expense account. Click Add Pay Type for each new pay type you want to create. Note that when naming a pay type, the name must first start with a letter, be at least two characters long, and it cannot have spaces or special characters. When you're done, click Finish. New pay types are not automatically available on Paycheck Windows. They must first be enabled for each employee. This is accomplished on the Pay Info tab of the Maintain Employees and Sales Reps window. Beginning with the release 2021.1, the method you use to set up pay rate fields for an employee depends on if the employee is paid hourly or is a salaried employee. For hourly employees, Enter an hourly rate for each pay type that will be used to pay the selected employee. This will make the pay type for the employee available for use on payroll entry windows. For salaried employees, entering a salary amount in a pay type field will enable the salary pay type for the employee on paycheck windows. Note that with this release, salary pay type fields that do not contain an amount will not display by default. This change ensures that only salary pay types that are relevant to each employee displays on payroll entry windows. If you normally leave salary rates set to zero in employee records and manually enter amounts when you process payroll, uncheck Use Defaults for each pay type you would like to use for each salary employee. This will force the salary pay type to display on the paycheck window even if an amount is not set for the pay type. Enter an amount for each pay type that will be used to pay the selected employee. This will make the pay type for the employee available for use on payroll entry windows. Note that although there isn't an established limit to the number of pay types you can add in payroll settings, you can only enable a maximum of 20 pay types for each employee at any given time. If you try to add more than 20, an error will display when you try to save your changes. However, be aware that you can use a different set of pay types for an employee for each pay period or paycheck. What this means is if you need to pay an employee using a new pay type, but the employee's record already has 20 fields enabled, zero out a currently enabled pay type you don't plan to use on the next paycheck and enter an amount in the new field. Payroll reports, such as the payroll register, will report the amount calculated for all pay types enabled for an employee during the payroll year. Another enhancement included in Release 2021.1 makes it easier to process your quarterly Form 941. Earlier this year, a standalone COVID-19 Payroll Wizard app was made available for download from the Sage Knowledge Base. 
This standalone app helped you calculate the total wages paid to employees using pay types expressly related to COVID-19 and the FFCRA. The calculated paid sick leave and family medical leave wages were then manually entered on the revised Federal Form 941 for quarter two of 2020, specifically on lines 5AI and 5AII. To make it even easier for you to report COVID-19 related wages on your quarter three 941 and later, release 2021.1 now integrates the COVID-19 payroll wizard directly into your 941 workflow. No extra app download and manual entry necessary. Here's how it works. When you're ready to process your 941, click the forms icon in Employees and Payroll and select Federal Forms. Select the Form 941 from the list, select the correct year and quarter, and then click OK. A new window will display asking you if any employees received paid sick leave or paid family medical leave wages as defined in the FFCRA. If not, simply leave No selected, click Next, and continue processing the 941 as you normally would. If you select Yes, click Next, and you will be asked to select the pay level types used to pay employees qualified sick leave wages. All hourly and salary pay types are combined here, so be sure to scroll and view the entire list. Click Next, and select all hourly and salary pay types used to record family medical leave wages. Then click Next and the Federal Forum 941 will display. Because you're reporting COVID-19 related wages, you'll be reminded to complete Worksheet 1 and to manually reduce liability amounts in specified areas if you have non-refundable credit amounts on lines 11B or 11C. Click OK through these prompts and you will see that the amounts calculated for paid sick leave and paid family medical leave wages are automatically entered on lines 5AI and 5AII, respectively. In addition to providing enhanced and expanded features for payroll users, Release 2021.1 also includes performance improvements and program fixes, including an issue where some users experienced mouse movement problems in some areas of the program, some users experienced slow performance exiting the program while not connected to the Internet. And a company that is no longer shared using remote data access still displayed in the Connect to Shared Company window. All of these issues have been resolved. As a final note, this release update includes enhancements that require a one-time database conversion. This is accomplished using the Data Conversion Wizard built into Sage 50. The conversion wizard will initialize when you open your company data after updating to release 2021.1. If you're running Sage 50 on a network, the data conversion process should be completed on the server before workstations access the data. Workstations will not be able to access the company until the conversion process is complete. This concludes our look at the new enhancements available in Sage 50 Accounting Release 2021.1. Thank you for taking this Anytime Learning topic. For information on additional training options available, visit us at sageu.com.